Hello everybody, it's the video I'm very back to this quick tutorial for you guys to share knowledge which I possess so you also can benefit from it. So today one of you sent me this picture which he came across when he was scrolling in Osses page and loved the border the way it looks in this picture. He was curious enough on how to go about it but he didn't know how. So I'm here to show you how to create that kind of flame real quick by using Adobe Photoshop. So let's get to it. First thing is first you just have to create the new folder, like the new layout in Adobe Photoshop, select print A4 and then create. After creating the layout, make sure you're gonna select it as the layout from Instagram if you wanna post on Instagram. So definitely go to the clopping tool and select the size which goes by four by five or eight by 10 because this is an Instagram posting size. So select that, say okay, select the image which you love and then drop it in your adobe so for me i'm gonna go with this image which i took back at um Toambu. this image tells a lot of stories so i'm just gonna go with this image now this is the important part because this is when you create that kind of flame look um okay and the quick thing to let you know guys with these flames there are so many types you can go to the website such as pin interest you see a lot of flame that got different styles when it comes to this flame but i'm going to show you the basic one to create from adobe photoshop I'll go down here to the rectangle tool. As you can see, there's a round tool, eclipse tool, but I'm gonna go with the rectangle tool because I need that rectangle shape. Draw where you want the flame to appear. For example, I can draw right here. After that, I'm gonna leave it. So it's gonna appear like in the white background by default. I'm just gonna make sure I'm gonna select no color. And then on the border side now, I'm gonna select the black color. And after selecting black color, I'm gonna select my border size. How big I want it to be depending on you how thicker you want your border to be so you're just gonna play around with the number and then after that select your picture and then align it within the flame and then I'm gonna make sure the image is at the center because when you move around Adobe Photoshop by default is gonna show you where the center so the same thing you're gonna want it with your flame select your frame and then move it As you can see, my image is already within those borders and it's just like that. But from this image, as you can see, the height is more like tall depending to the weight. Let's delete this rectangle. Uh, select the rectangle tool once again, and then make sure this chain is selected. Select where you wanna start to draw and then draw it. Yeah, just like that. Deselect the white part, make it transparent, go to the border, select black as usual, and then select the number. Yes. So for example, this is my border and I'm gonna resize it a little bit so as to fit the box. And as I told you, move it, make sure it's in the center. So right now here it's in the center. And now to make my image fit within those border, now I'm gonna play with the image instead of the border. Go ahead, select the molecule tool, draw until it reaches the border, but outside the border, then select the eraser tool, and then start to erase the outer part of those image. So erase the outer part, and then again, select the molecule tool, select outside of those borders, Again, select the eraser tool and then wipe out that remaining part of this image. And then just like that, there you go, you got your frame. So when you try to look side by side from our image with this one, you will see like you already got the borders. See, you already got the borders and then the image is in the middle. So depending on how big you want your border to be, you go to this rectangle tool and then go to the borders, play around with the number. For example, from the original picture, you see the border, they're very thick. So go down a little for a number to make it thicker. Yeah, for example, yeah, I think it was a little bit like that thicker. Yeah, exactly. After that, make sure your image just fits as usual. This side, and that side. There we go. And there we have it. That's our final picture side by side, as you can see. So this is the quick tutorial on how to make um, the image with the border like that. I hope you guys have understand. And yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more tips like this. Cheers.
amount.